Let's look at the helpful reviews for the latest Hearts of Iron 4 DLC, Death or Dishonor. Quite a bit of red on the uh, most helpful reviews. In fact, a wise man would say they are all red on the most useful reviews, with comments such as, Should have been free. Once again, Paradox shows true colours to its loyal community. This is just another Together for Victory, a pointless DLC that bundles a single gameplay mechanic, along with four lacklustre focus trees. Honestly, this DLC feels more like a patch I had to pay for. I'd recommend the focus tree mods over this. Very good points. There are mods for focus trees. There are lots of mods for focus trees. Too expensive. Does it really add anything that isn't done by it better by mods? Needs more. Not feeling too great with my purchase of the season pass with these DLCs or country packs. Oh, here's a is a positive one. I'm really enjoying the new focus trees. It's good to have a reason to play some of the small nations. Being able to take the checks and refuse the Munich agreement and win is a nice feeling. All four focus trees are an improvement over the originals. The originals were generic. Anything is an improvement, my dude. <laughs> and they don't feel as unwieldy as the ones in To Go For Victory. The equipment conversion feature is buggy right now. Oh, paradox. Unleashing buggy content. <laughs> but it works. It is really useful. If you enjoy the game, then I recommend it. Like the other guys say, there is a, uh, there is a, is it S6? Oh, uh, the Road to 56 mod, yes, does focus trees much better, so there's really not that good uh, a check which enjoys it. I love Paradox Games, but since the IPO, they've became way too greedy. As a season pass owner, I don't feel that I'm getting value for my money. Which is a first for many people in the Paradox community. This should be free. There is almost no content here. Don't bother with this DLC. Overpriced, Paradox is be going to become EA one day, and I love Paradox's games. It's like watching your girlfriend turning into a... Yes. Yes, it is painful indeed. Paid patch, really Paradox. First of all, Row to 56 mod, check it out. It will most likely be better suited to your needs. I purchased this not for focus trees, but the mechanics. I want to be able to license other nation's equipment since I do a lot of head cannon and role playing while playing. I love Paradox as a company, but in this case, they fucked up. Those changes should have been patched in for free. Oh, it's uh, it's really that. Who loves essential gameplay features being locked behind a paywall? Fucking no one. Paradox knows this. It doesn't care as long as it turns a profit. Is it really essential though? I mean, to play with Iron Man mode, it is essential, but... Like I say, the, uh, the Road to 56 mod does add all the focus trees you could, you could need. The only real gain out of this uh, DLC is the licensing, and... Is that really something you want to pay, what? 10 USD for? 15 Canadian dollars? 10... 8 pounds or something? Much of the content within this DLC should have been released as a free patch, such as that of licensing. The simple fact that Paradox is changing, charging for a few focus trees and a mechanic that should have been implemented within the game on launch clearly shows how such a company has its regards for its player base. I have adored Paradox games in the past, but the DLC policy they've had has grown trite. Never heard of the word trite before. And such policy is beginning to be em Amplified in Hearts of Wine 4. In brief, don't buy this. There are mods that do a far better job at giving public and nations focus trees, and the licensing mechanic is a minor. Shah Goldbloom. Yeah. I, uh, I think I'm inclined to agree with most of the people here. 
unless you want to basically donate to Paradox. This DLC is not necessary at all. You can get the focus trees in mods. Licensing, is it really that necessary? Selling research? That's that's for you to decide. But go ahead and check out the um go ahead and check out the reviews for yourself. Um I'm sure you'll uh, come to a uh, decision on whether or not to get this DLC. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.